What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing Juice's second posthumous album, Fighting Demons, and just giving my overall thoughts about the album. Before we start, I know that there's a lot of news and speculation going on right now about the Fighting Demons Deluxe. I will have a video uploaded tomorrow on the 11th, Saturday, talking about that and discussing everything there is with that. So you don't need to worry, I got all that covered, the video's already done, it'll be releasing later tomorrow. But with that being said, let's just dive on into what I actually think about the project fighting demons itself before we start make sure to check out my second channel complex 2 also make sure to follow me over on twitch and lastly shout out to all the channel members but also being said let's just dive on into this all right so obviously this track list features 18 new songs i guess if you include the interludes with the album but my overall initial thoughts about this project and the reason i'm making this video so early on is obviously i listen to leaks so i feel like i don't really need to give the album too much time just to sit in and really think about just because i've heard almost all these songs already and i'm not going to complain about that or anything i think that makes it so i can make this review faster and it will still showcase my actual thoughts about the album so just diving on into this burn i wasn't a fan of that clap with the burn part at the very beginning when i heard this album but it's honestly starting to grow on me more now and it's to the point where i don't really care too much i'll listen to this official version just to help give streams to juice and the song itself but for the most part, if it annoys anyone, you can just listen to the original, the one that's leaked. But overall, Burn is a great track, and this is one that I've been pushing for and wanting to see get released eventually, so I'm not going to complain about that. Same thing goes with, like, Already Dead, and I obviously want to say that with Wander to LA. Both of those are community grails that, whether you don't like the Justin feature or not on Wander to LA... We got Already Dead and Wander to LA as lead singles to this album. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Both of these were huge community grails that Bibby had to go out and find, at least for Already Dead. So I'm not going to complain about that. Obviously, these are older 2018 songs, so they're nowhere near the quality of stuff like Burn or some of the 2019 songs. But for what these songs are, they're great tracks. And then You Wouldn't Understand is a leak that I literally listen to all the time. I never would have thought this would have released, at least not like this. So I'm not going to complain at all. This is a great song that I hope does extremely well. Same with Rockstar and his prime. This is one of my big grails before it even leaked. And I was really hyped when it did end up leaking. And I listen to this song all the time. So, so far it's looking very good. I like the first like six tracks on the album right away. Doom is one that... I honestly could care less if it released or not. This isn't one that I'm going to go out of my way to listen to too much, but I am glad that we have a little bit higher quality of a version of this song now, and it's kind of cool that people can hear this song. This is definitely one that I never would have picked to release, at least not anytime soon, but it's also not one that I would consider mid at all. I don't think this song's bad by any means. It's just not one that I would have picked to release. And then we have the first new song on the album, or like actually new song on the album if you listen to leaks, which is Go Hard. Now, my only thing with Go Hard is I think it either should have just released with the Uzi feature, if that ever even existed, or just with Juice's second verse. I don't really see why they cut it, especially because the Apple Music lyrics showed that the second verse was on there so it obviously wasn't a mess up but they must have just have not thought the second verse was good enough to keep on here and i'm honestly not a huge fan of go hard i never really was i don't think the song's bad but i never really saw a lot of the hype behind it i do think that both the verses on the song are really good i'm mainly just not a fan of the hook and since this only has one verse on it and there's just not a lot to the song it's not one that i'm gonna go out of my way to listen to a lot but since it is a new song and because it is go hard I will listen to it and give it the time to listen to it, but overall, it's the first song that I'm not a huge fan of on the album, but then we have Not Enough, which is just out of luck. I'm sure we all know this. This was going to be on The Party Never Ends. I wasn't a fan of the version that leaked too much. I just didn't like the mixing and the way it sounded, but the new beat and the new mixing and everything they did to this song made it perfect. I'm definitely going to be listening to this all the time, and this is one of my favorite songs on the project, and then there's Feline with Polo and Trippy now. I honestly could have cared less if this would have released with Juice or Juice and Yachty or I guess even this version, Juice, Polo, and Trippy. I do want to say that I do like Trippy's verse on this. I think Trippy went crazy on it, but 
For Polo, I'm not really a huge fan of Polo's verse on it, but I also don't think he was terrible or that he ruined it by any means. It's just feline. If you like the song, you like the song. If you don't, you don't. It's honestly just kind of there. I wouldn't consider the song necessarily mid. It's just I never was a huge fan of the song in the first place, so I was never really hype hype for it. So far, the only two I'm not a huge fan of is just Go Hard and Feline, but I still do like both songs. And then there's Relocate, which was no Russian. Obviously, this one's a little bit different. The only difference is they added Juice's mom talking at the intro, which does fit the song, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. And I think No Russian is a great song. It wasn't a leak that I was always a huge fan of but i've definitely listened to it a few times and it's a song that i'm a fan of and i'm not going to complain about this dropping at all there's also until the plug comes back around which obviously this was yet another leak this is a fire drop fire song and i'm not complaining about this at all this is one of my favorite leaks ever this is one that i would go back and listen to all the time so the fact that it's out now is really cool. And then there's obviously EXO now. It's a little weird how there's like that glitch where they kind of tried to make it a clean version for one bar. Even if you're not listening to the clean version of the song. It's just like a glitch that I'm assuming will get fixed eventually. But even if it doesn't, the song's not bad. It's honestly one of my favorite leaks ever. I was a huge fan of the snippet and I listened to this all the time back when it leaked like last summer in 2020. So the fact that it's out now, I think it's a great drop. And then there's Girl of My Dreams. Now, this is one of the unheards that was going to be on The Party Never Ends as well. And obviously, this one's featuring BTS. Now, I want to go ahead and just say that I think Juice is fire on this song. I don't think there's anything wrong with Juice's part. I really do like his part, but just BTS kind of doesn't ruin it, but... They do make that part unlistenable just because, for one, I can't understand the language they're speaking. And for two, I'm just not a huge fan of BTS being on the song. But I'm sure the song's going to do insanely well streaming-wise. It'll probably be a radio hit. So there is that. And then again, Juice's part on this song is really good. And it was an unleak, so I'm not going to complain about that. And then obviously, one of my two grails. You guys should know this by now, especially if you've watched me for a while. Quitter and Feel Alone are my top two Juice grails. And we got feel alone on this album they didn't change the beat they didn't do anything to it the song sounds exactly like the snippet and it's perfectly fine and this is literally my favorite drop they've done so far this and bad energy are probably two of my just favorite juice songs ever and i'm super excited that feel alone released and that they didn't change anything with it and now i have one of my two grails only one more to go and hopefully quitter is going to be on the party never ends or on something but Finishing off this track list with My Life in a Nutshell or Pain Heal. This is honestly one that I wasn't a huge fan of. I never really liked Pain Heal that much. I honestly liked You're My Everything a lot better and I would have rather seen that release. But I understand why they dropped Pain Heal. It's honestly just like the wishing well of the album. It's one that if you want to listen to, you do. If you don't, you don't. I'm honestly not going to go out of my way to listen to it that much. Just because I'm more of a fan of You're My Everything. But... I don't think there's anything wrong with it. So basically going over my actual thoughts on the album, now you know what I think about each individual track in order. I think this is a really good album. There's definitely a lot of leaks on it, but I'm not going to complain about that. I don't think we'll ever get a Juice album without a lot of leaks on it just because there's so many good leaks. But that doesn't mean that there's not a lot of good unreleased songs or unleaked songs. And obviously that was showcased more on this album than Legends Never Die. We got Already Dead, Wander to LA, Go Hard, Feel Alone, Girl of My Dreams, all of those on this album. And honestly, if you don't count Already Dead as a leak, then that's like five new songs on this album that are obviously still good that weren't leaked. So there's a good amount of unleaked songs left and there's a good amount of leaked songs left. So I think this was a good album. I honestly do like it better than Legends Never Die just because one of my grails, Feel Alone, was on this album. But then again, one of my grails bad energy was on legends never die but overall i'm just more excited i'm more of a fan of fighting demons just considering the whole situation going into it and we actually got a track list for this album so there was no way i was actually going to be disappointed just staying up and waiting to see what was on it we got to see what was on it beforehand so yeah overall i think fighting demons is a good album not my favorite juice project but i like it better legends never die and i think it's a really good album but that's all for this video guys if you did make it this far in thank you for watching and supporting me like i said the deluxe video will be dropping tomorrow but with all this being said guys make sure to follow me on instagram at complex productions 999 and my twitter at complex discuss thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next video hey ross sauce it up hey beast this go crazy